Okay, today guys we're going to tie the brown shrimp. Looks like this, about. It's really good for bonefish. You can even get away with it as a crawdad pattern. First we're going to use some big fly black thread. Tie it toward the back, loose loops, cut off this excess. Now we're going to burn the tip of these, this 30 pound monofilament line to make the eyes. I'll show you how to do this closer up and also better eyes, different colors and stuff like that in a different video. But basically you just burn the tip of this to make these simple just black eyes. And now they're brown. Uh, I'll show you how to. We're gonna put some sharpie on them at the end. Turn them black. And take some coyote dubbing. I'll show you how to make this in a different video. This is my favorite stuff, but it's a pain to use. You see, I have to rip it up a little bit. That's because it just. After I make it, it just sticks all together. So I'm going to put this right under where the eyes are going to go. Now, to make it easier to tie in, we're just going to cut this in half. Measure about where these are going to go. And then we're going to cut this excess line off. Just real random. Right now. Now we're going to tie these eyes in. Make sure they're on opposite sides of the hook. If not, then they'll be too close together and it just won't look right. Whoops. You're going to get down to about half of the hook shank. And you're just going to cut off the excess line. This is going to help with the tapering of the body. Make sure those are snug in there. Put a wrap under the eyes. back over view and then back under again this is going to help position them upward a little bit more this is going to look make it look a lot better now we're going to take some fur off of the coyote's tail you gotta get that bottom fur off or any real long strands off of there now we're going to tie it in so that it's a little bit longer than where the eyes are. Let me tell you a minute. Didn't really measure. Here we go. So we're going to be about, about where the eyes are. A little bit longer. And those black tips on there are going to reach out real far. Tie that down in there, cut it off about halfway where your monofilament eyes were cut off. This is also going to help with the tapering. Now we're going to take Vivis um, SX Copper Tinsel. Just rip a piece off. I don't like split ends or anything like that. It bothers me, so I just cut it off right there. We're going to tie that in on the top. Now we are going to get some more coyote fur real quick. Just 
search for that. You gotta get all these extra short pieces and pieces that are too long. And this is gonna be a thicker bundle of it. I'm gonna tie that in about the same size, if not a little bit longer than the first one. And these are gonna look like the like the whiskers or so on a shrimp. Oh, they all have all those whiskers and antennae and stuff sticking out the front. That's what it's going to basically make. Right now, we're going to put a band of that coyote fur over it again. That's just to hide up that line. Wrap under that coyote fur. It's going to help it stick up a little bit more so you can get under there. Now we're going to take a lot more of this caddy fur. If you see, I'm going to put on a little bit at a time. It's just easier to get it on and working just the way you want it like that. Because if I don't put small amounts on at a time, then it's all just going to it's gonna be way too loose. It's not going to stick on the line right. It's just going to have a whole bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff is going to happen that we don't want. So we're going to wrap it down. Try to taper it as much as you can. These are going to add like the many millions and millions of legs it seems like on the bottom of a shrimp whenever I do this I always think of the Finding Nemo where they find the shrimp and it I just I've always liked that movie that's what I think of all their or not Finding Nemo but that cart that movie with the shrimp and they're all just kicking their legs real quick and that's what it reminds me of now we're going to furl that tail out a little bit this piece of coyote fur is going to act like the shell if I had a bunch of time I probably would have got more coyote fur because it just it was a really small shell I just really didn't like it at the end but whatever. Now we are going to wrap this copper tinsel around as the ribbing. A few wraps down there. Make sure they're tight. And then tie it off. Cut off the excess. whip finish however you like try to twist the tail a little bit flattened out there we go make sure that there's nothing in that eye don't want anything in the way of that. Now you can snip off that. You could just keep it like that if you want, but I like to. I couldn't find anything, so I just used the bottom of this hook to just pull those fibers out. Because you want to pull a little bit out. And then we're going to burn parts of it off, burn the tips of coyote fur on the back and just burn all these loose fibers I'm gonna pull that tail out now you could just leave it like that whatever I like to do a little bit more on there sorry for the light So 
I'm going to grab the black sharpie. Whoops, that's upside down. Sharpie. <laughs> now we're just going to pull these eyes away. You could keep them brown. Like that. But I'm just going to mark them all up. Turn them black. They'll stand out a little bit better. I like to look a little bit better as well. So that's what a brown eye versus black eye looks like. So let's color the black the brown eye in. There you go, just about done. That's what the other one looks like. I think I did a little bit better job. This more material looks a little bit better. But I'm in a rush, so I just did what I could. The other one took me like double the time that this one did. This one's just a quick pattern. You can tweak it, do whatever you want to it. You can do it in different colors, different pattern, or different furs, different dubbings, whatever. I'm just going to pull some loose strands up to act like the legs, the many, many, many legs that a shrimp has.